Hello, Four Bros Filming is back here again, and this time we have something pretty special to review to with you guys today. It is a Raspberry Pi 3. Yes, I've been asked about this video a lot, and when I mean a lot of people have asked me, no one has asked me. Okay, so we got the B+, Plus, which is the ultimate kit. And this particular kit comes from Vil Vilros. There are two main kit sellers for Raspberry Pi 3, that are Vilros and Kanakit. So we decided to buy the Vilros and see what they have set up together for us. So now, we are going to open this and see what's inside. So, Having the list gone over, it's time to see that stuff in real. Okay. So here is our accessory bundle. So it's a 40 pin, uh, pin cobbler. We have the case. This is supposed to contain the power supply, micro USB. Breadboard, very interesting. A lot, and when I mean, I actually mean a lot of jumper wires, heat sinks, the motherboard, experimental red LEDs, the preloaded card and its adapter, an HDMI cable, how nice, and the starter guide. from different companies based over this Raspberry Pi and now we are about to open them up in the correct order to now and put this together so this should be interesting this is not just a review however we will also put this together in front of you so I bet you'll like that second we open the micro USB power cable so that we have it ready when we need it get to the juicy stuff. We are going to open the case kit. Well, it's all in the entire kit. So now we open the motherboard. And we got a bunch of owner description manuals. And we got case instructions. So yeah, you have to snap on this to the case. The lower part, you have to match up the... Uh, so... You have to carefully ease it in there until you hear a snap. Okay, now we got it. Show it to the camera. We have to do this very, very carefully indeed. Too hard and too fast you could break the motherboard. Make sure many, many times to make sure that's stable and that the board is not off center because doing that could cost it the processor and then your motherboard is gone so yeah it's pretty stable a lot of testing and yeah then we have to put the heat sinks on so we have two heat sinks here uh, different sizes the bigger one I believe is for the um, Processor and then it has a smaller one for the heatsink card. Bigger ones from the processor, which is right here, 
and then the small ones for the Ethernet card, which is right here. And both get very, very hot. So to enter it vertically, comparative to the HDMI cable output. And you have to press it down on the processor to, to allow the adhesive on the heatsink to work properly. It's firm intact. Now we get the smaller heatsink, which is consider considerably harder to put on. And we locate the Ethernet card, which is, okay, so right here we have the four USB ports and an Ethernet cable. And right between the USB port in the middle is the Ethernet card. So you have to put the smaller one over there all the time. Like I said, also vertical comparative to the location of the HDMI cable. And press for 10, uh, around 20 seconds to lines 2. And here we go. The heat sinks are attached. What we are going to do next is attach the top of the case onto the Raspberry Pi. Once again, we want to make sure that it's all firmly intact to the lower part of the case. Jiggle it a bit. If you feel like some amenities here or there, then it's probable that so it's pretty stable. And now, on the area where there's a lot of pins, attach the side of the case, at least for this particular case, the one that has a long open strip, so that you can allow your accessories to be. And then, snap it down firmly. So now, we are prepared to put in the, plug it in and turn it on, but right before we do that, we have the last step to do. We have to put in the preloaded SD card so that we have our Raspbian Linux OS. I believe it also comes with a couple of media OS's. So that's like a cheap movie player. I'm not exactly sure, we can check. And here's the SD card. Please, like I said, we told that this is a preloaded card, so this is not like a regular, uh, what is it called, SD card that you can just buy separately, because that one will be completely empty, and this one has the basic OS features in it. So now, we are ready to test this out. We have our preloaded SD card put in and everything, so now, I will insert the plug. The HDMI cable, okay, so as you can see, here's a few starting lights. I will also insert the HDMI cable. And we will also use our Acer WBX100 mouse. So now, we are ready to download our OS. Right now we have got the Noobs BIOS interface on. It's the version 2.7. was built this March 14th. And so far we have two OS ready to install. We have the Raspbian, which is the basic experimental one that you would love to have. And also if you want to use your Raspberry as a vintage gaming machine, you can also download RetroPie. So, I'm going to download both over here. So now this concludes our video of the amazing Raspberry Pi B Plus Ultimate Kit by Bill Rose. Thanks for uh, watching Forbos Filming and we'll give you follow-up videos on, on, based on this product as we explore its features.